A new plan to get piles of trash off the streets of the city and then cut down on rats is unveiled today. But CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer shows us it comes with a price some New Yorkers may not want to pay. The streets of Hamilton Heights and West Harlem are about to become the so-called test dummies for a new pilot program to see if the city can make huge piles of plastic trash bags as extinct as the dinosaur. It's an important part of the mayor's war on rats. The mayor has been very clear. He doesn't want the black bags on the street. The solution, according to a highly anticipated new report, is to put trash in secure, rat-proof metal containers. The report found that it would be possible to put trash in containers on 89% percent of city streets. The containers, individual ones in low-density areas like Staten Island, larger ones in high-density areas, would banish the plastic trash bags, hopefully forever. They look terrible. Who wants to play a game of hopscotch around piles of black bags? Those black bags, we know a third of the material in them is food. And our food is also rat food. We want to stop feeding the rats. The trade-off is that in many neighborhoods, the trash containers would have to be in the street, taking up parking spaces. It would be, we estimate, around 150,000 parking spaces. But I want to be really clear. We are not taking 150,000 parking spaces today. What we've announced is a pilot of shared containers on 10 residential blocks in northern Manhattan as well as the schools in that neighborhood. Parking is clearly one of the third rails of politics in New York City and residents of West Harlem where the pilot will begin this fall have mixed reactions. I'm for the garbage cans because the rats around this neighborhood is it's outrageous. Why couldn't they put the trash on the sidewalk? For example, I mean, put the bins on the sidewalk. I think it's important to help our neighborhood be sanitary, um, but you can't just take away parking spaces. You need to create them in other spaces. For the record, the city has about 3 million parking spaces. Containerization could remove about 10% of the spaces on residential streets. In comparison, outdoor dining removed just about 1%. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Wow, a lot going on. I Let's see how this goes. More about this. We're going to hear a lot of opinions. On and on and on. The bottom line, though, is there is a problem and we need to try to fix Something. it. Something. Unintended consequences, yeah. though. We'll see.